Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at how to generate series and interviews. How to generate series and interviews. At the end of this video, we should be able to uh, generate log series and interviews. We should be able to uh, generate returns and, and series, like uh, exchange returns, interest rate returns. Whatever returns we want to generate in series, we should be able to generate volatility series, exchange rate volatility, interest rate volatility, for example. And then we should be able to increase the sample size, and then we should be able to generate value for this increased sample size. Okay, but before we go into this generating series proper, please, if you are tuning into this channel for the first time, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and uh, kindly help to share this video with your colleagues, your friends who might have needs for it thank you now we generate log series first of all you click on quick quick and then you click on generate series so generate series the name of the series i want to create in this class i will i will go for lean uh exchange rate okay that is the name i want to give it you can give it any name you want equal to then log of the variable that we want to transform and that is exchange e x c r a t e okay then you're ready click on uh okay you see the variable is generated that is the log of exchange rate generate false okay now we want to generate our uh, returns returns in our uh, exchange rate you come in you click on quick click on generate series like that and then there's, there's a formula used to generate uh, returns uh Compute com, com return series, returns, return series. Okay, in this case, the name I want to give it, I would like to give it a uh, exchange rate returns, returns, then equal to okay, that will be 100 asterisk multiplied by then log of exchange rate itself, the variable we are looking for to return. Then divided by one period lag of exchange rate. Exchange rate and bracket minus one denote one period lag. Okay. Now, this is how you compute your or exchange returns. Hundred into log of exchange rate divided by exchange rate minus one. That is log of exchange rate. Click on OK. OK. Then you have a returns exchange returns created in videos you see and now we want to look at how can we generate volatility from a series uh, actually you have to make use of a volatility model i'm talking about hatch model gash model e gash uh g g how gash model like that okay we're not really going proper into that but um yeah yeah the procedure you follow to know which of the um which of the volatility model suite your your series okay but now let's just go with simple arch module now we are estimating equation okay you come here this drop down box you click on arch model okay now we can specify our model e e x c h r a t e exchange rate it's a function of its previous year value minus one okay yeah, we're going for hatch zero then you have the error distribution which one you want to go for is it normal student t test generalized error which we're not really going to volatility model i just want to demonstrate how to extract your um, volatility series so you click on okay from this result you can get your volatility series okay all you need to do is just come to proc you see make gatch variance series okay you click on that and then you can come here and name whatever as you want to name uh the series you want to generate here i would just say exchange rate vol volatility and then i click on okay and then you have it registered in your uh let's do this Yes, this is exchange rate vol. You have it registered in your, your units. 
okay and then uh, the last uh, the last uh, when we look at today is how to increase the sample size and then how to create values okay for those uh, sample sizes you increase so come to procure you see structure resize current page click on uh, yes now start date and end date let's say we want to increase it to uh, 2018 January let's say 31st January Mm, yeah, that first January 2018. Okay, uh, click on okay. You know, resize involve inserting five observation. Yes, click on yes. Okay, now if you click on any of this variable, you will realize that uh, from December 2017, from 13th of December 2017, you would have missing values. Okay, not available, not available, not available. That's because you have increased the sample size, but uh, we have not uh, included a, uh, any value, you no, know, to fill in the sample sizes. So now we can create values to fill in the series. Okay, there are uh, there, there, there are a lot of ways of forecasting or uh, values. Okay, you can use uh, the weighted uh, average method, the weighted average method, and you can use the uh, high, um, uh, moving average method. There are quite a lot of them like that, but then we look at the weighting method. In this one, we, we use the the weighting method to um, generate uh, values for the missing, the non-available uh, series. So you come to quicker and then generate series. Now we are generating series from 14th of December. 14th year of December okay to 31st of January 2018 do not forget that we have data till uh, 13th of December 2017 so how do you want to generate it we use the weighted method weighted method okay now we say exchange rate equal mm, okay I can use weight usually we want to say exchange rate is a function of uh, the previous year value so we are taking the previous three years value. Okay, one year lag, two year lag, three year lag. Then we assign different weight to it. You know, mm. uh, you you can fail to choose any uh, uh forecasting method you deem fit, but then this is just for the sake of this tutorial. Zero point five. I'm giving fifty percent to the first uh the first lag period. Uh, exchange rates minus one then plus 0.3 mm, let's change rate minus two then uh, plus uh, 0.2 let's change rates okay sorry spelling error All right minus three okay so i'm saying that uh, create values for exchange rate following this uh formula from 14th of december 2017 to 31st of uh, january 2018 okay attach with you click on okay okay now come to your exchange rate and click on it you will realize that the non-available spaces they are filled up you see you see they are filled up they are filled up i have been able to create generate values for the missing uh, the missing data points okay all right uh so thank you uh do not forget to click on the subscribe button and help share this video with friends and colleagues who might have needs for it thank you